What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about the news that everyone has been talking about for the past uh, few hours. Um, is Liv Morgan being arrested? That has been the talk of the town on social media, everywhere that's related to, you know, anything wrestling. Her mugshot has been shown all over social media. And uh, you horn dogs out there are still <laughs> gonna find the opportunity to let it be known that you would still clap if you had the opportunity some of y'all want to uh even bail her out even though she's already posted bail <laughs> like y'all y'all definitely love y'all some Liv morgan and uh even though she had no makeup on had a mug shot on you know people were still showing love for Liv morgan um let's check out what went down get the full deets i didn't get a chance to do this video last night but i definitely wanted to make uh, uh get an opportunity to post this video for you guys today this is from fox sports wwe star Liv morgan arrested in florida for marijuana possession wwe star Liv morgan whose real name is gianna daddio was arrested thursday in florida on charges of possession of marijuana according to arrest records daddio was pulled over by a uh, sumter county uh deputy thursday evening after morgan's car was reportedly crossing over the white and yellow lines according to fox 13 tampa bay damn bro so she crossed over the white and yellow li yellow lines and that prompted them to pull her pull her over that's crazy i can understand she's like swerving in and out but just because she crossed the yellow lines that's why they pulled her over that's it's wild a small bag of marijuana was found in the car along with a vape pen containing an oil-like substance which tested positive for marijuana according to the village's news she was charged with possession of marijuana not more than 20 grams and possession of a synthetic can a uh, cannabinoid according to public rec uh, records daddy was booked in sumter county and released after posting a three thousand dollar bond and that is the infamous picture that is uh going around right now on social media this is a mugshot everyone is going crazy over some people have made it their profile picture wwe had no comment on her arrest daddy -O is a one-time smackdown's women's champion and captured the wwe champion uh women's tag team title with raquel rodriguez early in 2023 daddy -O has been sidelined recently with a shoulder injury and that's about it nothing really noticeable has been said anything has been updated i've seen some type of um reports on twitter don't know how true it is that she's not really getting any heat from this incident uh by management which i didn't think she would because i don't think Liv has been in any type of situation trouble wise so she's not a problematic person obviously she you know she's kind of big for wwe especially in the women's division people love her she doesn't seem problematic i don't think there's going to really be any rep repercussions i think they're going to wait for everything to play out and then they'll go from there because it's really something minor i'm gonna be honest with you i don't even think she should have even got pulled over but i don't know how strict they are when it comes to marijuana in florida so who knows out of all the other things that they kind of let slide in florida that's one of the things they may not let slide or they try to take you in and she doesn't seem like she has any prior history of anything else so it's all kind of weird to be honest with you that they really booked her in for for that amount of weed i can understand she had like just a whole bunch of weed pounds of weed and she's moving weight but I don't think that's the case and once again her getting initially pulled over because she crossed the lines that's well, she's swerving that's kind of wild I'm not even gonna lie to you but i do think she'll be fine i think if anything this may enhance her character when she does come back maybe she can come back with a bad girl persona because you know they got the mug shot they can really turn this into an angle if they chose to so we'll see but i think she will be a-okay if anything her stock has risen because of the photo and because people are like damn she still look good and she in jail i'm here for it like i, I think her stock just rose so i don't think wwe is gonna management is gonna be tripping too too much off of this whole situation
so comment down below let me know do you guys think wwe should play into this do you think she needs like some type of gimmick change maybe a bad girl persona when she comes back not so much a heel but maybe a little tweener-ish a little bit more someone that's not afraid to break the rules just a bit do you think y'all wwe should play up into what's happened here recently on her return when everything gets sorted out or do y'all think she should return the same way she left you know the same character that she left um before she got injured so let me know down below but i appreciate all the love support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace